Hi, this is Kathy for Trans by Deaf, and this week we have been asked to discuss the topic of would you date another trans identified person? And as a bonus question, would you discuss what you were like in high school? Would I date another trans person? The answer is yes, I would. Uh, the considerations that have to go into this. I have been married to my wife for 30 years. In order for me to date another trans person, my wife would have to pass away. And then I would probably be very lonely and I would be looking for companionship and I would be back on the dating circuit. As long as my wife is alive, I don't believe that I would date anyone other than my wife. As far as what kind of trans person would I date? I would probably date a woman because my preference has always been uh, toward women. I would not rule out dating a trans man, but I would probably date another trans woman because I like being with other women. What kind of trans woman would it take for me to date? I would say it would have to be one who loved to be out outside who loved to go hiking and climbing and shooting and all the things that I like doing. That is the one thing I like most about my wife is that she loves to do all kinds of things with me. We go hiking and camping and shooting and fishing and to games and to all kinds of activities. We're always doing something. And that's what makes my wife fun. In looking for a someone to date, I would be looking for that same uh, scenario, a person who was very active, very outdoors. I can see me dating a trans man if he were very outdoorsy, like to hike and fish and hunt and spend a lot of time in the woods watching animals. Well, that's my feeling on would I date another trans person, and the answer is yes. Now to move on to the second question, what were you like in high school? I find this the most interesting of the questions because in high school I was basically two different people. For the majority of the time I was forced by my mother to remain a boy. I was the track star going to state in the 880 was one of the fastest people in the state in the 880. I also ran the 440 medley. I played on the high school tennis team. I played baseball. I played football. I marched in the marching band. I played in the concert band. I sang in the a cappella choir. And I had nearly straight A's academically. On the other hand, there was my other side, my Kathy side, which was a shy girl that loved going to dances. On every Friday night when there was a high school dance at one of the surrounding high schools, I would always look at my mother and say, I would like to go to the high school dance. And she'd ask me, why do you want to go to a high school other than the one that you're attending? And I would look at her and say, Kathy, I really think Kathy's cute, and so I like to go to her dances and be with her. As soon as I left home, I always had my, my girl clothes and my girl outfits. I would put them on, and I would go to the dances as Kathy. And I would enjoy my time at the high school dances as Kathy. I also, uh, during that period of time, did some singing with uh, several quartets as Kathy, and I enjoyed performing as a girl. I loved to go to high school football games as a girl uh, when I wasn't playing or when it was possible. And I always went to high school basketball games because it was fun 
to be out in the crowd as a girl, but they were never at my high school. They were always at a different high school. So I was, on one hand, a very dominant athletic boy that could run very fast and played a lot of sports and was very active in music. On the other hand, I loved to go dancing and I loved to watch sports as a girl. The thing that is interesting to me, since I was unable to, trans to transition at age 23 when I wanted to, the training that I got, or the situation may be better to express it to you, the situation I was in was one where I was forced to be a girl when my mother wasn't there. That trained me to survive being a transgender person. I really believe to this day I could have a haircut, put on uh, male clothes, bind up my breasts, and go out and function as a man without any hesitation or without any problem. And that's because I have done that for so many years. And I feel that going back and forth between my male self and my female self during the high, my high school years, in order to feel comfortable and in order to enjoy being the sex that I felt inside, really allowed me to, to survive when I wasn't allowed to transition. And so I look at it and I say, in high school, I was two people in one body. Now, the other question that I oftentimes get when I talk about this is, do which gender are you? And I say there is no doubt that I identify as a girl. My gender is a girl, even though my sexual assignment at birth is a boy. And I've had to compensate for that by going back and forth between being a boy and being a girl. My biggest concern with answering this question on Trans by Deaf is really the people within Trans by Deaf itself, people like Jenna, who would not understand the going back and forth between being a man and being a woman, which started in high school and continued up well into my 50s as a survival mechanism. That means that they, many people would consider me as a cross-dresser. There is no way that I am anything associated with a cross-dresser. I portray the image that I have to in order to survive. Well, those are my comments on what I was like in high school. I always have fond memories of my track days and playing in the band. I enjoyed it very much and singing in the a cappella choir and being in musicals as a boy. And I also treasure those moments as a girl going to dances, having a very nice formal gown and doing the things which a girl would do. Well, thank you for watching me and I will see you again next week. If you have a comment, please leave it in the box below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Bye.